evening, everyone. Good morning and welcome to this Indic Book Club author Q&A. I am your host, Abhinav Vagarwal, and I have with me best-selling author, uh, uh, a feat he has achieved with his very first book. Uh, it was in, it, it is not only the number one ranked uh, book in several categories in Amazon, but uh, within, I think, a couple of days of its release, it also hit the top five uh, bestseller uh, rank. I, I'm not sure, Rahul, if it, uh, you know, became number one, but it has been a runaway bestseller. And uh, I, as I started reading the book, I reached out to Rahul and asked him if he'd uh, you know, be willing to come to uh, our IBC author Q&A session, and he very graciously agreed. So the book is, uh, you can see it uh, in my... Uh, uh, in in my you know uh, background, it's called uh, Sanghi, who never went to a shakha, and it has got uh, endorsements and blurbs by such people as Amish Tripathi, Bibek Debroy, the Honorable Minister Smriti Irani, our uh, Jagannathan Sanjeev Sanya, Mohandas Pai, Vivek Agnihotri. So, it's literally a galaxy of very eminent people from various different walks of life who have endorsed this book. And as I started to read this book, I got a couple of, uh, you know, feeling, uh, couple of feelings from it. The first one was that uh, it is uh, how to use, you know, when I first thought of that, uh, Rahul, I uh, had the words that came to my mind were stream of consciousness. And then as I read further along, I actually came across these words uh, that you mentioned in your uh, book with respect to uh, some author that your father, uh, you know, yeah, strongly right. encouraged you to read. So, yeah, but right. honestly, that was the feeling that this is a, a stream of conscience, uh, consciousness book. It right. uh, uh, reads like a part memoir, which it is. And it is also a commentary on the social environment, the political environment of, uh, you know, uh, of the times as you grew up over the decades. And now that I can use the, that book to figure out how young or how old you are, and we leave that as a quiz for our readers. Uh, you talk essentially from the time uh, uh, of the 1980s uh, growing up and some of the, you know, uh, epical events of the 80s, a decade from uh, the assassination of Mrs. Indra Gandhi, and then uh, the uh, uh, you know the fall of the Congress uh, uh, government in 1989, and then in 1991, opening of the Indian economy. 1992, we had the Babri Masjid the demolition, and then 2001, you talk about uh, several events that happened in 2001. Now. Uh, before I start, I'll make one more pu public service announcement, which is that this uh, Q&A is uh, being broadcast live on, on uh, you know, the Zoom webinar as well as on Facebook. And you can, uh, uh, we will also be uploading this to YouTube once, uh, you know, we have the recording process. You can send in your questions through the Q&A chat uh, panel on this webinar, and we will take those questions up after the Q&A is over. So... I'll start off with, a, with, with one very basic question, Rahul. So, yeah. ye, you know, you write, you co-founded Op India, and uh, you're, you know, you have a substantial following on Twitter, and your articles, uh, when you write them, they attract a substantial amount of uh, viewership, readership, feedback, engagement, and so on. Now, if you look at a book, uh, if you look at it in terms of just, uh, you know, eyeballs, a uh, book reaches only a small fraction of the people that uh, social media engagement uh, reaches. So, and a book frankly takes an order of magnitude or orders of magnitude, more effort to write, put together, find a publisher, get it edited uh, and so on, and uh, then promote it and all. Why? Why did you yeah. write that, choose to write a book? Right. So first of all, obviously, thank you for inviting me and thanking, uh, thanks uh, to Indic Academy that you know not not only the, for hosting this chat but also you know helping many people uh, read this book uh, you know to, through the academy uh, asking them to review so it, it's 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 a good uh, you know like uh, a new culture not not exactly a new culture but uh, or rather it is a new culture that that's being cult cultivated about reading because that's that's something that has been lacking i mean it's not something i have written in my book but uh, uh, you know, like uh, th there was once a time uh, while growing up, uh, somebody put put into, you know, in my head uh, that uh, uh, go and read abroad, study abroad. And that was pretty early, you know, while I was still in the school. 
and uh, in 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 the uh, woods that ashok rajpath uh, it's called i think of patna uh, you know there is to be many bookshops and there uh, uh, you know you could pick up some uh, uh, guides and all that and one of those things that i picked up was uh, a guide of sat scholastic aptitude test which used to i think uh, for the higher studies uh, i mean school higher school basically in in uh, us uh, obviously I, i i had no idea how does it work and my father my parents uh, didn't have that kind of money to send me abroad but out of curiosity i picked it up <clears throat> the maths part obviously i found it pretty easy and then i saw that almost half of it you know that test uh, which uh, apparently gets you into the high schools of uh, us uh, half of it was about reading comprehension you know and 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 that and 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 same is the thing with gmat and you know uh, other exams over there uh, but but that thing is so early cultivated uh, 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 you know, in US, that that I realized pretty early, uh, that in India we we don't have that uh, we haven't encouraged that culture of reading. You know, the, there you have almost half the uh, you know weightage of your aptitude uh, aptitude is being given to how well you read and com- comprehend things. So, and this is completely uh, you know almost lacking over here. I mean, the literature classes or the language classes rather that. that we go through in in schools it's it's a sham it's a, you know it's a joke so so good that the indic academy is create cultivating that culture the, you know where where we start reading up where we uh, you know the long forms and and especially in current times when uh, which brings to your question also that when when there is social media and there is so much easy uh, uh, i mean the habit is there to read up very small stuff i mean uh, forget articles i mean you know you just have to read a few slides on instagram or or a couple of tweets uh, on on twitter and uh, and that's that's and you're reading for the day is done kind of a thing you know and uh, and and obviously me being uh, rather decently followed uh, on twitter and uh, many of my tweets uh, which which uh, captures some of my thoughts and and to be very uh, immodest i would say capture a very in in a well uh, way uh, using very limited characters that i i had that ability to express and they have gone uh, very much viral so it indeed uh, you know becomes uh, in a way that that disincentivizes disincentivize, uh, you to write a book you know when when your thoughts Correct. when when your articles uh, i mean once once a while when when i write the articles or or whatever thought i am basically expressing uh when they are so so quickly and so easily getting viral and uh, literally uh, people in lakhs or uh, on on occasions millions are reaching uh, reading you why would you put in so much effort in writing so 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 much more than what uh, you know you can manage in an article and a tweet and reach uh, literally a fraction of that audience uh you know i mean like if if if, if in 10000 copies of your book sells uh, in india it's it's uh, it's supposed it's supposed to be such a great achievement and uh, if i look at my tweets uh, perhaps you know every one of it will have more than 10000 uh, you know i mean much more than that obviously in 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 terms of impressions so it's it's uh, it's actually you know i mean uh, uh, when i look back that why i why i decided to write a book when i could have maybe written a few articles or maybe even tweets uh it it it's an interesting question i think uh, the reason why i decided to write was one that i strongly felt that you know this is a story that i should uh, share uh, and uh, this is a story that cannot be said in a few tweets or in a few articles so that 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 uh, that very strong urge uh, that i need to document it that i need to express it was there i uh, to be honest uh, perhaps i was not at all looking at uh, it becoming a best seller or it you know it it uh, i i'm 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 making money out of it obviously you you know better than others that authors hardly <laughs> make money in 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 this country so so that was that was uh, not uh, i mean unless obviously you were chetan bhagat or these uh, you know such type of uh, uh, sell of authors and uh, you know your millions of your copies are selling so you know, so idea uh, was really I, i was not there was not any big number that i was looking at when when i started writing uh, it or when i decided to write about it and perhaps that's why i i could i was able to 
uh, write and finish it because it it was driven more by a strong uh, belief a strong un, uh, uh, urge that i need to document uh, what what has happened uh, and and which was uh, not just about me it's not that i thought that i'm so important that people uh, people should know my story uh, but then everyone is in, important and unique in that in that sense i mean everyone has a story to say uh, but this this was essentially a story of a generation you know everyone every many people were going through similar uh, similar beliefs and you have multiple mul- multitude of uh, books uh, articles analyzing why things have changed on 2014 elections on 2019 elections but i thought that uh, narrative somewhere was missing you know people were mostly looking at the entire thing as uh, modi and shah uh, or as bjp or as uh, it cell and stuff like that but it it's 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 a story that goes much beyond that and it's a story that goes much beyond uh, 2014 and 2019 correct so correct. so 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 that that was a strong belief why i i thought that you know i i should write it uh, correct makes sense and yeah. see the other thing that i felt uh, uh, is that uh, one of the drawbacks of social media has been that uh, in many ways our collective memory doesn't extend beyond uh, you know right. five or 10 tweets <laughs> so sometimes people forget that you know what happened a year two years five years 10 years back 20 years back has a has sometimes a very major role to play in the events that unfold before us and some of these things you have captured very nicely in your book uh, mm-hmm. and and you describe some of those through your physical journey through india itself you know from patna right. to delhi at iimc and then uh, uh, to uh, ahmedabad for your mba at i am uh, ahmedabad and the thoughts that traveled with you when you moved to ahmedabad and how they changed uh, over the course of the i think the two years that you were there at uh, right. the b school and one thing that uh, struck me was that uh, ideology has always been present at uh, at least some of these institutions uh, mm. it is not in your face ideology it is not right. as uh, rabid as the woke culture ideology that we see unfortunately today but mm. it has always been there and right. you also write that you know you were by not only no means a sanghi you were not even something the who would consider himself a rightist mm. your first transition happened where you started to become a right winger more in the economic sense than True. in any other sense right uh, so why uh, so tell me at at uh, you know i am IIMC, right? The Institute of Mass Communication, where I think you did a one-year uh, or a ten-month program. Right, right. How when you first? One year. Yeah. Correct. So when you first experienced uh, this, that you now identify as you know some sort of an ideological bent, mm-hmm. leaning, and all. Mm-hmm. How do you? How did you recognize it? Did you recognize it at the time, or was that uh, insight only through hindsight? And what were your uh, reactions? You know, you talk a little bit about it, but I want you to, you know, el- elaborate somewhat more on it. Right. Uh, I mean, as you rightly said, it's 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 been documented in my book. Uh, uh, see, I to be honest, it's mostly in hindsight. You know, I mean, uh, even though. Uh, while i was doing uh, i was studying at iimc i was 22 years 21 years old uh, that's that's good enough an age uh, when many people do have an understanding of ideology and uh, you know stuff like that uh, or maybe <laughs> many people actually don't i mean you know many times when you see those uh, popular vox pops people people have absolutely no idea they don't even know who is the president of the country and uh, stuff like that forget uh, i mean you you can well imagine what they might be thinking about ideology so i was definitely not so clueless but i was a very uh, you know an ordinary guy in that sense that i didn't i did not have much of an idea what ideology is uh i you know just to an extent that you know in 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 the history books or in popular culture you know that uh, you know there is a communist party and and uh, and uh, uh, you, when we were growing uh, there was this whole talk of cold war and all whether you understand it or not at least you uh, you are exposed to such terms uh, you know uh, through uh, newspapers 
or through people talking around you sometimes. So you have vague idea of what it is. Uh, but uh, to be pretty honest, while even while uh, studying for journalism, I didn't have much an, uh, of, uh, of an idea that uh, there could be ideological camps, for example. You know, I, I, I could just think that, okay, these, these are uh, different thoughts, uh, different uh, political uh, way of thinking. And maybe later on when people join active politics and, you know, they get into all these things. But the, but the, but the fact that uh, many people see it almost as a religion or more, more even more important than religion was completely Why? lost on me. Yeah. Why? Because see, uh, <coughs> dharm mazhab ke naam pe, you know, people hmm. get very, very passionate. Wo right. Hai, hai? Right. Par ye vichardhara jiske piche log itne, you know, bokhla se jate hai. Hmm. After all, it is just a line of thought. And if someone hmm. can present better arguments and facts and data, hmm. so shouldn't a reasonably in, uh, you know, intelligent man say ki haan, thik hai, meri soch galat thi, hmm. ya phir jo mujhe bataya gaya tha, wo galat tha, to ab, you know, just like someone said, that when facts present themselves, hmm. the smart man changes his view. So, hmm. and uh, you talk about, I think, aaj tak, right. one of your experiences ki, hmm. uh, aap, uh, jab ye, I think, uh, kab ho, and here is where I want to ask you your responsible journalism ka funda kya hai? Yeah, right. Yeah, which is which is you know, I mean like uh, an entire chapter is uh, devoted to that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the thing is that, uh, you know, uh, your first question that why people don't realize, uh, I, I was a little, un- I, I, I didn't really understand whether it was about why people like me don't realize or why people who are invested into those ideologies don't realize. Actually, uh, good, good that you brought that up. It's, it's both ways. Uh, right. See, ek to ki like, you know, the people who are at these institutions, they have a certain ideology and uh, right. wo, usme, I can kind of understand that they have been so invested in it that uh, right. they cannot bring themselves to consider the fact that what they are thinking about their whole life is wrong. Exactly. So, no one doesn't I can understand right. that from a psychological right. point of view, but right. youngsters are much more open to questioning things, right? Right. By Precisely. nature. But then right. is tarah se brainwash ya herd mentality mein bhar diya jata hai. Toh, how does that happen? Precisely. That's, that's where I think I, I have briefly touched upon it also. Now, the, one of the challenges of my book was that it touches upon so many topics. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it, that, that was the nature of the book because, you know, I, it, uh, uh, it, 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 it it has that expense, you know, because because the kind of social churn that we are going through, socio-political churn rather, it it does have so many uh, aspects to it, uh, whether it's po- electoral politics or culture, religion, education. Uh, so uh, so they, so almost every of those uh, topics that I have touched, they need a independent books. Uh, uh, indip- an independent book or a series of books on themselves, actually. So, uh, so maybe you know, uh, perhaps I didn't elaborate too much upon it. Uh, but I think towards the end, uh, especially in, in the last uh, chapter, I have uh, touched upon it. Uh, which you, you know, wh- uh, whereas what you are talking about comes up early in in my book. But the uh, but why it happens kind of comes later, very briefly in my book, is that these people have. Uh, you know, uh, you have to give it to them that they 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 they, they are so uh, expert in uh, you know in, in in presenting themselves as rebels, in presenting themselves as someone who are anti-establishment, that the youngsters don't even realize that they need to question the very things that they are adopting as something rebellious. You know, so so while the entire left, especially in current times, as we talk. The entire most of the so-called left is all about actually preserving and conserving their power and their 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 you know spheres of influence. So in that sense, they are the conservatives. 
you know that they, they are trying to conserve their power they are trying to conserve the status quo but yet despite that they are able to present themselves as some kind of rebel somebody who is at constant fight trying to change something some some someone you know or a group of people who are you know trying to they have created imaginary enemies uh, imaginary demons and they are always fighting and that's excites young people you know like okay you you kisi hindi movie ka hai bhi youth badlega is desh ko so yes. you know so, so <laughs> i i have forgotten that you know but that that's a very funny expression that the actor gives some character actor is uh, is only there ki so and and that's that's how the youth gets into that romanticism of uh, that we are here to change something uh and and it's actually the the crying change that that this society needs or this uh, education system or this entire system needs is the change from the same old uh, ghisa pita left kind of thing yet these people are so uh, you know uh, accomplished in their in, in their art in their in their trade that they are able to present themselves as fighting and and uh, you know uh, fighting for change or Uh, fighting for justice whereas it's it's actually them who are controlling everything so you know, so you, that's why you you touched upon you know conservative and the thing so hmm. uh in <clears throat> your book you talk uh, very briefly about it and then right. you also as your change happened you talk about it and right. you know some of the phrases that you use they have at least for for the last several years they have sort of triggered me when i read those phrases i get very very irritated so <laughs> one is you know socially liberal fiscally conservative hmm. and mujhe kai baar lagta hai ki like you know log ye char loves use to kar lete hain unhe koi ata pata nahi hota hai ki iska matlab kya hai but right. it is something that makes them look or What appear about? intelligent hmm. and the people hmm. who adopt these labels tend to be fiscally very very uh, profligate and socially very very <laughs> illiberal दूसरा दूसरा जो है कि लाइक यू नो लोग कहते हैं कि मैं स्पिरिचुअल हूं मैं रिलीजियस नहीं हूं एंड यू नो यू टॉक अबाउट इट दैट योर एक पॉइंट इन योर ट्रांजिशन जब हुआ है यू सेड यू वर नाउ एंड आई कोट रिलीजियसली ए एथीस्ट बट कल्चरली हिंदू राइट दैट्स हाउ आई फैंसीड माय सेल्फ टू बी आई हैव रिटन गुड 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 तो इसका मतलब क्या है आई मीन एज पीपल यूज इट राइट which 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 i have you know kind of explained that you know that over years you know the irritation that you kind of developed i also did you know so i i realized that these are really nice sounding buzzwords uh, you know that you adopt out of uh, compulsion that uh, or out of uh, uh, lack of uh, deep reading uh and uh, you know and 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 just uh, to sound cool you know so so being libertarian was pretty cool and uh, i was also you know despite this white uh, you know beard uh, today at at least at that time i i definitely could have said that i i was young and i wanted to be cool i still want to be cool but <laughs> but uh, yeah that's you know being libertarian was cool being socially uh, liberal fiscally conservative was cool so i i also adopted these cool things so 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 that's that's what i i have even kind of uh, uh, mentioned uh, Uh, although you know in 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 on uh, in uh, theory uh, these things still don't really look that bad but then we are we are not really living in a theoretical lab we are living in a practical world and that's where you start believing that come on i mean uh, you you need to graduate out of that phase and uh, some people graduate some don't some don't exactly and <clears throat> isme uh I made a I made a bunch of notes. Uh, mm-hmm. I will leave the best part for last, which is uh, uh, you know Kumar Shanu uh, ke gaane aapko <laughs> bahut behat pasand hai, but I leave that for the last. Uh, mm-hmm. See the uh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to find you know so many so many things I want to talk to you about, but uh, let's talk about. Uh, mm-hmm. you say ki like one of the major sets of events that happened was in 2001 ek to tha ki 911 ke new york terrorist attacks hue the december mein delhi mein parliament building pe attack hua tha right aur uske basically kitne 2 2.5 mahine baad godhra mein 
कोच को पूरा कर जला दिया था एंड कितने अट्ठावन यू नो बच्चे और और फिफ्टीन उनसठ अट्ठावन लोग मर गए थे बट यू से दैट पर बिकॉज सोशल मीडिया वॉज नॉट देयर एट दैट टाइम द फॉल आउट फॉर यू नो फॉर फॉर society at large was not as much right especially for But, someone like me yeah so how was uh, you know since you were i think at, at that time you were at uh, iim ahmedabad right iimc i was studying at uh, so how journalism. was uh, how were these events discussed then in you know uh, outside of the sphere of social media that didn't exist the internet was basically mm-hmm. you know still very very hardly you know shaharon ke ilawa kahi internet tha nahi india mein Hmm, precisely. So, how was yeah. the discussion, and more importantly, how was the narrative built around uh, these uh, events? See, uh, the, the dominating narrative obviously was uh, of of left. So, despite nine eleven, uh, you know, kind of changing the narrative in the West, where they finally started saying Islamic terrorists and stuff like that. Uh, the same guys were obviously very pious, uh, anti-communist jihadis earlier. but uh, you know the the same lot became uh, obscurantist and terrorist for them but at least you know uh, their hypocrisy the hypocrisy aside they did you know they, they at least it did wake them up uh, in india i don't think that happened you know i mean uh, uh, forget uh, we we didn't even need to wait till 911 you know i have uh, uh, before I, i mean this is a country that has uh, that has been ravaged by islamist uh, mentality it has been partitioned by islamist mentality but we never came around uh, discussing those things honestly uh, so uh, yeah and, and uh, i mean i'm talking about partition but even uh, after 2001 and after uh, uh, the uh, parliament attack even 911 and even after the godhara thing godhara obviously was a little different uh, as i have written uh that did uh, cause uh, you know people to uh, believe that no that the danger was real but then uh, the uh, the left and the congress narrative was able to you know control the damage one by obviously using the gujarat riots as the bigger sin or, or as the bigger tragedy and secondly obviously by denying uh, what happened at godhra i mean it's, it's a genocide denial that they did through the Uh, uh that commission that uh, lalu yadav uh, was the real minister correct uh, nanavati uh, no sorry no 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 this is justice uh, ganguly uh uh-huh. yeah uh, I, i think, think so. we both are yeah kind of uh, forgetting the judge uh, the judge name but the commission it it's it's a uh, mandate was to whitewash bodhra basically <coughs> sorry so while bodhra uh, had that uh, you know brief opportunity uh, or rather that uh, you know kind of uh, uh, strong uh, cause the, uh, I, i mean it, it could have been a strong catalyst in changing the narrative that the that uh, you know that the, the the danger is right at 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 your doorstep they were able to contain it uh, uh, but 911 and uh, parliament attack obviously it, it didn't i mean despite both of them being uh, inspired from islamist ideology they were both turned into some kind of a political joke you know i mean uh, like 911 yeah is to america ka hai hamara kya jata hai wo unki ladai ho rahi hai ye wo ye wo and then obviously the usual thing that left did that uh, it's 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 their own uh, uh, thing that's going coming back to bite them which correct in a way it was true also but at, at the same time uh, you cannot uh, ignore what those guys were up to i mean like osama and 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 other folks uh, and and whenever it comes to islamist attacks in in in, in india obviously everything is uh, conveniently blamed on pakistan and uh, you know conveniently blamed on uh, political problem of kashmir so so uh, you know and 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 you never kind of and and both what are both you know the existence of pakistan and political problem of, of kashmir there is nothing but islamist mentality you know both, both both that's the only thing that defines both both these things the problem in kashmir and why pakistan exists yet you never actually discuss that thing so uh, when when that wasn't discussed from uh, uh, ever since 1947 or even before that uh, it, it it wasn't uh, i mean i mean and and that control that that uh, that uh, uh, contour of narrative 
was preserved by them till you know till till the time internet happened so forget not only 2001 thing these two things uh, uh, as i have written uh, in the later chapters also the series of bomb blasts that's happened from 2004 uh, 2005 2006 to uh, you know mumbai terror attacks and and forward you know so this entire country was ravaged by uh, you know these blasts But all you... of them done by islamic Correct. terrorists yet we didn't yeah but you say the narrative began to change sometime in right. 2008 9 9 right uh, yeah. so even though ye jo 2g and uh, commonwealth games uh, ke jo ghotale the wo upa 1 mein hue the but uh, hmm. people didn't uh, really know about them right. and uh, till hmm. gopi krishnan he broke this uh, on the uh, pioneer and uske baad i think uh, outlook and open hmm. magazine mein you write right. uh, uh, you know hmm. they published uh, the audio transcripts and then a certain gentleman went to the supreme court and pura tala lagwa diya सारे उन टेप्स पे दस साल के बाद भी हमें पता नहीं ऐसा क्या उसमें पर्सनल बातें थी जो यू नो बट इन एनी केस यू 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 राइट अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स दैट हैपेंड आई वन वाज द टू जी का जो यू नो रेवल्यूशन्स हुए राइट दूसरा था 2611 के जो टेररिस्ट अटैक्स हुए एंड उस पर जो मीडिया कवरेज जिस तरह से एंड उसमें चैतन्य कुंटे को लीगली थ्रेट्स दे दे के पुअर मैन वॉज साइलेंस्ड Right. and the third one was the leak of the radio tapes right so between 2001 and early 2002 and like 7 uh, 8 9 years back mm. Mm. obviously you say that the control of the narrative had slipped out of the establishment by 2010 yeah. slightly yeah yeah i mean it started slipping from 2008 19 yeah so yeah. now i won't ask you ki like you know what cases slip who and all that because mm-hmm. a lot of people at least will know ki you, know, you know how social media played a role all could so shuru mm-hmm. okay then you write about twitter and all that it mm-hmm. it it uh, if you look at it now 2021 mein hum aa gaye hain and mm-hmm. social media has been there for at least 10 11 12 saal se india mein to raha hai do you think the establishment is regaining or trying to regain control over the over this narrative and we saw in the 2020 us elections may how True. social media and and uh, you know these uh, establishment media they played more than a partisan role to su- to to switch the elections uh, to their side do you think there is a possibility of that happening in 2022 when the up elections take place next year and 2024 when the general elections take place yeah it will i mean that that's 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 a global phenomenon that's happening i mean and which is what i have you know one line that uh, one short line that i have written in uh, in in the book that twitter was liberal then it's yes, woke now woke, correct <laughs> yeah correct. so 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 that's that's something that's that's uh, that's not going to uh, uh, leave india obviously you know currently twitter is playing its cards very smartly you know like uh, yesterday they marked uh, modi's uh, video which was uh, you know tweeted by some congress guy as manipulated media trying to show that you know they are uh, they are non partisan and all that it it's all wo bakri ko ghas khila rahe hain wo you know ja kar halal karenge eid ke din mota kar rahe hain abhi to so so it it's it's going it's not going to leave uh, uh, you know uh, india obviously what what we saw in 2020 in us election completely partisan behavior of uh, the big tech especially twitter uh, that i think we will see uh the good thing uh, is that uh, uh, you know we do realize you know uh, like in india we can see that perhaps more openly that this is happening rather than in us where uh, i don't think you know apart from trump uh, or maybe to an extent uh, uh, ted cruz and I, i'm i'm to be honest i'm not really too much into uh, uh, us politics so i might be wrong also but uh, Uh, to an extent i could understand i don't think uh, uh, you know the uh, the mainstream right over there try to make it shout about it too much whereas here i do think uh, you know people are talking about it uh, there is there is a little pushback from the government also in in terms of uh, you know like uh, whatever uh, they are asking twitter to do you know that you have to Uh, uh follow the laws of the land and you know trying whatever little they are trying to do there is some sense of pushback uh, i i had expected that being a maverick that trump is he will do some hathora to these guys and put them you know put them in line but unfortunately that didn't happen uh, so so in that sense i was pretty dejected ki fir india sa kya 
एक्सपेक्ट करें अगर ट्रंप ने कुछ नहीं किया तो यहाँ तो हम ऐसे ही जरूरत से ज्यादा सेफ खेलते हैं बट दिस 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 इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू बाइट अस अनलेस यू नो पीपल इन द गवर्नमेंट पीपल पीपल इन द रूलिंग पार्टी रियलाइज that twitter is uh, you know i mean they are snakes you you they might uh, sound uh, you know a little uh, nice uh, right now that you know they are doing manipulated media for uh, you know uh, for, for prime minister modi and maybe if you ask them and they will uh, do some favor to you a little bit you know here and there is ko do tuk de do usko do tuk de do type ka wo aisa karke wo aapko khush rakhenge but wo ultimately wo वो खेल तो खेलेंगे वो तो मुझे लगता है यू नो आई आई एम नॉट वेरी ऑप्टिमिस्ट अबाउट इट बट वेयर आई एम ऑप्टिमिस्ट इज इज दैट इन इंडिया वी कैन टॉक अबाउट फार मोर ओपनली अबाउट इट दैट दिस बायस एग्जिस्ट देर इज लिटिल पुश बैक फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो Uh, I think this clubhouse and Twitter spaces might run into a uh, problem given the new IT guidelines. Uh, we might see, you know, uh, these things uh, facing some heat. So this is where I have uh, a little thing. But yeah, it's the wider uh, issue is obviously the old uh, establishment, the old media is trying to gain the same kind of censorship, the same kind of gatekeeping that they used to enjoy on the traditional media. and to a very large extent they have been in fact to a very 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 large extent they have been successful especially so, in the west so essentially in some ways i'm reminded of uh, this one uh, a, a place in your book when you i think uh, talk about uh, who it uh, who is it o'sullivan's law yeah yeah o'sullivan's law uh, yeah. do, do you want to tell us something about that because i found it very very insightful uh, and mm-hmm. it applies so so much uh, uh, to even the indian context true true right so it uh, o'sullivan's uh, is a british political commentator i have forgotten when exactly Exactly, but sometime uh, you know, I mean, it, it's not I a think, very old. Ha, quite nineteen eighty nine, ninety. Ha, right. It's not you, very you. old law as such, but uh, he said, and it's it's a very striking thing. When I also read about it first, it, it sense. I mean, it appeared that I mean, it's so obvious, you know. Yet we didn't realize it. So, so he says that unless an organization, uh, you know, whether it's a political organization or an educational institute or even a, uh, you know, uh, a. Uh, uh, whatever you know an ngo so unless an organization is avowedly right wing it will turn left wing over time so uh, and 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 the reason he says why it happens is because the left is far more tribalist far more intolerant of different uh, you know differing views uh, and and over the time uh, the kind of uh, selection hiring process uh, or inclusion process that uh, that seeps into an organization make sure that only you know people who agree with a, a kind of uh, you know comparatively left to start with what whoever are comparatively left those who agree with them they are uh, you know hired only and and they prevail and then it completely becomes a leftist organization and obviously in today's world it becomes woke so 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 that's that's so clear i mean that's so true uh you 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 look at uh, uh, twitter google all these uh, places people who are culturally left they are so vocal they are so insistent on their rights i mean in google they have gone in and formed a, a union i mean obviously they and and, and they are so, so dishonest also they 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 will keep on insisting that it has got nothing to do with politics nothing to do with ideology same shit like the islamist nothing to do with a religion i mean it has got everything to do with your politics and ideology and and uh, you know and uh, and they have they have formed this unions and uh, they are vocal you know that every i mean even smallest of the companies they have to today they have to you know they they their say hr records will have to have uh, you know space for your pronouns your genders stuff like that so 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 that's how it happens you know the people who are uh, uh, the people on the left they are so vocal they they, they are so insistent uh, and they are so intolerant in a way that uh, they 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 would insist that this is only the right way to do it and and over the time everything starts turning left and uh, he was so right that is so true that is so yeah. true and uh, uh, now i have a whole lot of questions uh, still to mm-hmm. ask but i also see that uh, a lot of people have sent in their questions and chat panel and q and a says so before i move to that mm-hmm. i i'm i'm sorry uh, rahul i have to ask you this mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. mentioned siddharth vardharajan as one of your idols 
नहीं मेरे पास बुक के अंदर लिखा अभी नहीं दस दस पंद्रह साल पहले आपने कहा था बट दैट इन माय माइंड इज इनफ टू कैंसिल यू फ्रॉम द राइट विंग no but i have given a context that you know when that that was a time when i wasn't even aware what ideology is you know and that's that's how people who think they are neutral or who think they are non partisan uh, actually end up in the left camp so and 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 to be fair i was never a fan of siddharth varadrajan yes i did answer i did take his name when for a job interview as one of the my favorite journalist because those are the names that came into my mind and i just uh, you know vomited whatever i had uh, remembered from uh, from my you know uh, college days uh, the pre journalism days basically so he was never uh, my <laughs> real uh, you know kind of, i was never a fan of him but something he that can... i haven't put in my book but it's definitely embarrassing is that i had written a fan mail to rajdeep sardesai i should have perhaps put in <laughs> in the in the in the book so that you can troll me tro- you could have trolled me better but that was also you know in the in the first week of uh, uh, sorry in the first year of my uh, college <laughs> इतना पतन हो चुका था मेरा और फिर भी अगर मैं वो भर के आ सकता हूँ तो मुझे पूरा विश्वास है की किसी के लिए भी ये संभव है राइट एंड अरुंधति रॉय फीचर्स इन माय बुक आल्सो ऑब्वियसली आई डिडंट गो टू या यू नो लाइक फॉर एन ऑटोग्राफ कॉपी बट या एज एज आई हैव रिटन दैट शी वाज ऑल ओवर शी वाज इन अ वे पीपल ऑफ माय जनरेशन व्हेन वी वर इन स्कूल्स और अदर अर्ली कॉलेज इन 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 बिहार कॉलेज स्टार्ट्स अर्ली आफ्टर 10th इटसेल्फ uh you start looking up to you know uh, these people so she was all over the media and you know and and uh, she was one of the reasons uh, even i thought that you know okay being a writer is good you know having a book with your name on it is so so cool <laughs> so so yeah i nahin, mean nahin, uh, nahin, bil, 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 uh, <laughs> cool nahin, ye, 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 wo, uh, jeevan ki aisi ghatnaye hoti hain jo insaan apne you know आजीवन सोचता रहता है कि लाइक कौन सा शनिचर चढ़ा था मेरे दिमाग पे एंड ऑल बट इन एनी केस इन इन एनी केस सो बिफोर आई मूव टू द क्यू एंड आई अगेन रिकैप गाइस दिस इज नॉट ओनली अ मेमोर दिस इज अ सोशल कमेंट्री एंड एज यू रीड इट इट लीस्ट आई गॉट द सेंस दैट आई एम लिविंग थ्रू दोस टाइम्स इट इट यू नो फॉर it is a journey from a small town to a big town then to another place it's a journey through india as it changed uh it is a journey of how one's thinking changes as one is uh, uh, exposed to counterfactual arguments that one sees and uh, the establishment the dogma that prevails and it is particularly well written i think your training as a journalist helped uh, your uh, Uh, obviously you know you are also a mathematician a bsc in in mathematics uh, uh, so you know that focus uh, also helped but whatever it is it's a very well written book i could not you. stop uh, uh, you know I, i couldn't put it down it was like it wasn't ki chalo aadha ghanta padh ke then i'll take a break and read it again i kept reading it pretty much i think i finished uh, the book in two uh, sessions so i would strongly encourage everyone to give the book a read read it with an open mind you'll see a lot of uh, reflections of yourself of parts of your life in it so uh thank you for writing such a wonderful book uh, rahul i'll take thank a few uh, uh questions i'll uh, uh well okay there's one a very interesting comment that uh, we'll leave for the time being but uh, manoj gupta asks the book is fine but how do you see indian politics in future especially the fate of secularism this can be an hour long answer also but i'll give you only 30 seconds for this <laughs> just 30 seconds i'm not anand ranganathan <laughs> so uh, yeah but uh, i think uh, you know the immediate uh, face of politics in india i think it's uh, it's it's in favor of so called uh, right wing i don't uh, see that uh, changing anytime soon uh, but yeah uh, 
in, in the long term, we will have to think, you know, what we discussed earlier, that left is still very, very smart at presenting itself as rebellious, as presenting itself as fighting for some grand thing, uh, grand ideas, trying to fight some evil. And, and they capture the young mind pretty easily where we fail. Uh, so, so that's uh, one uh, challenge uh, that we will have to keep in mind. Uh, you know, we should not leave the young guys to be cured just like we got cured with age. So we will have to do something uh, about that. Otherwise, uh, I think uh, immediate future uh, in, in India, it's mostly going to be identity politics. No doubt about that, because now the left and right both agree at least on one thing, and that's identity politics. So, you know, so so the entire good, good thing about uh, now, uh, 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 you know, elections would be all about development and all that. It's all good to, uh, uh, you know, to hear and to, to uh, convince yourself with. But I don't think identity politics is going any anytime, any, uh, anywhere soon. And that's where we have an upper hand uh, till the demographics are in our favor. I was going to ask you about that, but good you brought that up. The demographics is destiny. And right. we're seeing that in large parts of, uh, or at mm -hmm. least in pockets of the country. I'll not say anything more than that. I think people, mm -hmm. they have access to data, they have access to trends, they have access to mm -hmm. voting records. Uh, I think uh, it is a particularly myopic or a yeah. closed mind that refuses to see that uh, that reality. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. moving on to the next question by Amit Parihar, he says, Hi, how do you think we can create an atmosphere in Indian social media where people are not just putting out their contrasting views, but also not outright discarding the opposite, opposite point of view? What are your views on healthy discussions online where leftist hypocrisy isn't overshadowing some very rational and logical right wing points? So I don't think social media might as possible to have a rational. Yeah, I, I, I also, yeah, I also agree. But some new platforms uh, might change the nature of discussions. So, you know, like say people are saying Clubhouse and maybe if, even even if it's on Twitter, maybe the spaces could change. Uh, maybe, I hope so. But I think uh, it, it has been spoiled beyond <laughs> redemption, the social media. I mean, we, we have lost our ability to uh, have a conversation over there. So we are always in a fighting and it's, it's true for every shade of uh, uh, ideological, uh, you know, uh, spread. Uh, so I, I don't think, I mean, maybe free markets in the same way, we will, we will figure out something, but the social media as it is today, it's, I, I don't think it's going to become better. No, no, not, not at all. Uh, Mrityanjay Gupta asks, is it, <clears throat> excuse me, is it possible to be a rational person without being leftist or right wing? Right wing as such obviously is uh, Again, uh, you know, I, I was going to complete the sentence, but then I realized the right wing, the term itself is, uh, you know, how do you define, uh, you know, so, so, but uh, so far as if you are committed to any ideology, I don't think, you know, how do you define rationality? Uh, I think it's, it's not possible. I mean, obviously, every ideologue will say that he can be a leftist as well as a rationalist. Or somebody can say that, you know, I can be a pretty much a religious guy as well as a rationalist. But uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's all boils down to definitions, how how you define rationalism. I mean, obviously, currently, I am very much partisan. I'm, I'm, I'm very much uh, for the Hindutva, so-called Hindutva politics. And I believe, honestly, that uh, rationalism is very possible over there. But, you know, when, when you get into too much of, say, uh, scriptural things and traditional things, you know, what, what say are, are trads, which again, I have full respect for, but then at some point of time, it starts looking that, you know, it's not rational. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know, it's, like it's, it's goes into the, uh, I think, uh, uh, realm of philosophy that how, how exactly do you define rationalism? Uh, but in, in, in common parlance, I mean, in the way we believe, I, I think the easy answer would be that it's 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 a little difficult, you know. If you are very committed to an ideology, you cannot be completely a rationalist. I don't think so. That would be my honest mm. answer. Yeah. Interesting. It's a. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, that's that's something that we can debate a whole lot. But I'll move to the next Precisely. one. Uh, yeah. An anonymous attendee asks a very interesting point. Uh, would like to draw my question on the word cool. Right-wingers, be it young or old, lack that coolness, apparently, and lose the argument mostly. What do you think can be a concrete step for the win? See, the problem why we are not cool is, uh, you know, 
in in order to be cool you you, you know it, it's it's all very fast very quick very uh, palatable that you are saying you know and that is something right cannot say because the wider context uh, is being set still by the left so you know when when you crack a joke i mean humor is still to an extent with us so when when we say something uh, say why right wingers are say more popular on twitter for, for example so so the wider context is being provided over there by the right wing you, the voices are very you know like like vocal over there or say rahul gandhi is equal to pappu is has become for example and an accepted fact for example so it becomes easy for you to push something very quickly in a palatable form but in the wider context in the social context the young people don't even have a context of you know information about stuff that you are trying to tell tell them so it becomes very different difficult to be cool in in that sense because what what you are trying to say they have no context of it they have no information about it if it's about say love jihad you know i mean you can we can debate that okay whether to use this term or not but say if you are trying to uh, say something about that how do you do anything in in a in a cool way unless unless you have create you have so much of stories unless you have put in so much in, of information that the that the guy or the girl standing in front of you immediately can relate to what you are trying to say uh then you can even think of something cool you know i mean like anything cool or anything joke or anything snazzy it's all a derivative of something that's already existing something mm-hmm. original cannot be cool you know i mean a theory of relativity cannot be cool as such so 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 something original will always be complex it will be always be uh, you know uh, nuanced it it will be detailed uh cool is always a derivative of those things so unless we have created that context unless we have created those stories and and people have a, a understanding of it it, it it's a, it's a, it's it becomes a diff, uh, you know difficult job and that's where you know hopefully uh, you know some of the people in the bollywood who are, who appear to be warming up to the entire idea of uh, uh, you know uh, so called right wing for example abhi r madhavan ki movie nambi narayan ki aayegi now now people would see people would get a lot of context fir aap usme se derivative karke aap bahut sari cheeze cool kar sakte ho jisse you know uh, you you can push your things so so that's where we are lacking it's not like we are lacking in ideas but but we are lacking that original thing that uh, original narrative the wider narrative that's not so popular that hasn't reached the young generation in in various forms interesting i uh, <clears throat> perhaps i think we need to have another chat just on this part because uh, mm. this, this, this seems a lot more complex uh, i think uh, now that you've touched upon uh, some of these things mm. uh i'll uh we have a lot of questions so one thing i'll do is i'll uh, share them with you in any case but uh, i want to uh, take a couple of uh, of uh, uh, them in particular so aditya shrivastava asks there are few youngsters who are generally supporters of bjp and modi but they are still woke and get excited by tokenism what in your opinion could be done to incline them towards non left and make them see the truth uh, unless i have context or details of it i you know because these words have become so meaningless these days you know woke obviously one can imagine uh, what it could be uh, but i don't think uh, walk in the sense that you know that that you insist on pronouns that you insist on uh, you know being always ashamed of your identity if you are a white or a brahmin or you know uh, such kind of uh, thinking uh, i i still don't think these people are bjp or modi supporters hmm. so what you uh, you know the pers- uh, uh, i'm sorry i forgot the name of the person who put the question uh, so so the uh, how he uh, or she sees what is left would need you know i i would need a little context before uh, you know i can answer but in 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 broad sense in theoretical way i think these these things don't really they they were always meaningless in in indian context this whole left versus right thing uh, what what perhaps currently you know we can kind of agree upon is that there is a dharmic way and there is a non dharmic way that that kinds of uh, you know uh, separates uh, a uh, broad two ideologies uh, because some of the values of the left uh, say environmentalism you know a sadhu is also uh, doing a fast and to death to save a river 
and uh, at the same time your medha patkar is also trying to save a river so now now the both things are in a way left you know i mean is is trying to save a, if trying to save a river is left then then is that ladu uh, sadhu a leftist so you know so so in that sense uh, that's where i'm uh, saying that a, a little bit of context a little bit bit of details would be needed what exactly are you uh, terming as left because mostly i mean it, uh, while we have adopted even in my book i have used left winger right wingers frankly and 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 i have put it in the uh, uh, in the introduction part of my book also that these are meaningless uh, uh, broadly in in the indian scheme of things uh, but since it's used in popular parlance i have also used uh, but in 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 terms of this particular question i would need to understand Uh, say with an example, what oh, okay. exactly is there? So this is this was asked by Aditya Shivastav, and I would uh, Aditya, uh, suggest sorry, Aditya no. that you you can post this on Twitter and tag uh, uh, Rahul, and uh, perhaps mm. say perhaps for, a you meaningful know, I, conversation can take place. Yeah, maybe maybe say uh, perhaps he means say the feminist, for example, the ideas. Again, uh, uh, I don't think femi- you know unless you are in this. I don't even know the second, third, fourth wave or whatever. a uh, wave of feminism you are talking about but the but the core idea of feminism that that uh, that women have an independent existence and they, they they should be equal to men that's not against our dharmic principles you know we are we are the only uh, you know kind of uh, religion or culture where uh, women deities are perhaps uh, what perhaps they are stronger than male deities so so you know so one has to look into the context uh, uh so so that's where i was saying that left and right uh, anyway is not uh, so meaningful uh yeah correct and to to that and jasmin shah's question also touches upon the same things and i'll read it out just for you know completeness so she says that i wonder whether we need to distinguish between right wing as understood in the west and what right. it means to be right wing in the indian context right and she right. says uh, to me right wing in the west is purely an economic position in favor of large corporates what is right wing in india mm-hmm. so i think uh, you, uh, to to paraphrase what he said the context is something that matters a lot when talking about right and left wing, uh, wing phrases but uh, for lack of a better more widely understood phrase we tend to use them Precisely. simply the discussion going right right true so uh let's uh, uh okay so this is a slightly different one by aniket kumar sa and he says i'm also from a small town jogbani bihar and i am in my final year of bachelor's of journalism i have two career options that is appearing for upsc which is something you talk about <laughs> in, in your book appearing for upsc in pursuing journalism please guide me as i am 21 years old i want to pursue journalism but my father wants job security which is an is please advise it's See, almost like you... going back in a time machine and uh... <laughs> <laughs> actually actually i mean fortunately i my my parents uh, left me ke theek hai tumhe jo karna hai karo but uh, yeah i mean it's it's not like when parents insist on something or they advise something it's it's they are controlling because they have their own experience to say and uh, if if your pay, if your father thinks that uh, the government job or the, the upsc thing is better i won't really find fault with him obviously you know it it's it's uh, it's better uh, than being a journalist i mean to be very blunt with you unless you become rajdeep or a barkha or, you know or people like them uh obviously a bureaucrat's job will give you in in term in practical terms a better uh, you know lifestyle a better earning opportunity uh than you know in journalism it's very exploitative and people on the top earn a lot people on the bottom uh, don't i mean that that's how that people on top earn a lot uh, because people on the bot- uh, at the bottom are not uh, earning a lot you know when when 200 people or 100 people are laid off uh, Uh, in network 18 nobody cares but when rajdeep and sagarika are asked to move out then it's attack on media so 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 that's that's how uh, journalism is uh, unfortunate truth is that i mean obviously there are new media avenues uh, coming up like uh, so raj and op india but we are we are you know we are not so big that you know we can absorb all the labor market so so it, uh, so journalism labor market still remains your uh, mainstream media and uh, that's uh, i i don't want to discourage you journalism obviously is, is it's it's fascinating field uh, but if 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 you if you want to express right or comment 
that you can do even while doing any other job also so you know and un unless you really strongly believe in this trade i mean how, how you define journalism that also will uh, will be uh, something uh, you know th that that needs to be answered but but if but if you are so much into it i mean like most of the guys working in op india many of them don't don't have a, they don't come like me from a journalism background i mean they they haven't done any uh, uh, journalism course but they strongly felt about it you know like no I, uh, we want to be doing full time then most welcome obviously it's a wonderful field you get a lot of satisfaction uh, you know it's almost like uh, being a doctor or a soldier or a, you know i mean you, you get that sense of self importance if that's important for you then most welcome but the the industry uh, you know harsh realities are that, like that that you have to you know initial years are very struggling and if you are left uh, you're stuck in a big uh, media house and you know you have to pretend to be somewhat left leaning unless you reach a particular stand you cannot really you know i mean assuming that you are here talking to me then you are somewhat so called right leaning so in that sense you will have to curtail your you know natural ambitions natural uh, uh, you know thought process to grow up in this uh, industry to grow in this industry not grow up <laughs> you have already uh, grown up <laughs> so uh, there's some more questions uh, rahul if you have uh, maybe you know another 5 minutes sure sure yeah thanks so uh aniket kumar sahar again he says beautiful book so uh, you know that's really good to good to hear and read uh i'll i'm scrolling through and so there's a uh, uh, parv chahan who says just finished your book and it was like tracking my own journey so as i said you know it's like uh, reading a slice of your own life in certain mm -hmm. parts uh so Okay, so uh, Parv Chahan again says that makes you a miracle if you survived Arundhati Roy, and I completely agree. <laughs> uh, another comment on Arundhati Roy doing a project with the role model as Arundhati Roy. So my sympathies uh, for you, uh, Rutheraj. And Manoj Gupta. There is Mrityunjay Gupta. Hai, I just uh, saw how much chance that Rahul Roshan goes back to be Arundhati types. so this is uh, you know <laughs> so i i would actually want to answer it that uh, yeah, sure yeah i mean i i should already tell that there are only two ways in which i might become arundhati roy types either i am uh, given 1000 crore rupees or somebody kidnaps somebody in my family and says that do this otherwise we would kill this person <laughs> yeah theek okay. hai okay fair <laughs> enough <laughs> uh, uh 1000 crore inflation adjusted this is 1000 crore current price that's a good <laughs> point that's a good point uh, you, you know you're talking about uh, uh, net present value <laughs> yeah no but jokes aside i i don't think uh, you know i uh, i i have passed that uh, uh you know uh, that line and it, it's 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 not like i'm a 20 years old who who has just got into some you know new insight and i'm finding it cool so i become right winger i'm getting it more uh, more retweet so i have become so called right winger so no i you know i was getting a very decent salary in network 18 uh, when it was acquired by reliance i took a salary cut and then started all this thing uh, to tomorrow if uh, you know say congress comes back uh, and start sounding i i have no future in media so so you know it's not like uh, this is this is something that i have done because of some monetary gains or because of some pr practical uh, benefits that i was deriving it's 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 a very conscious very emotional decision that i have taken so so the worst that uh, that can happen is that i can become silent you know that i can say ki yaar chhodo kuch nahi rakha hai aur you know apna life mein kar job arundhati roy banne se to mera ho to it's it's impossible Yeah. Good. Good. You clarified that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, Parv Chahan has a question. The students in sociology do not read and have no clarity of theory. I'd like to maybe expand on this. Uh, we, we, you know, we talked about uh, reading, and you said that uh, uh, you know the culture or habit of reading has somewhat declined. It's not. So, do you want to answer you know uh, Parv's question and? and perhaps also make some recommendations on what people can read how they can develop the reading habit because 
I've had so many people also ask me that, you know, I find it so difficult to read an entire book or as part of the Thousand Reviewers Club, people have, they, I, I can see they struggle to write even, you know, good short reviews of books. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, uh, I think I, uh, I don't know how to do it. I mean, like I, I myself, I'm not a very, what you call a voracious reader as such. Uh, but it's if I want to write, uh, read something, obviously I will finish it. You know, so so if if somebody is reading it as as a uh, you know like they they have to work out in 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 a gym and they have to get their you know uh, shape uh, body shape in order, I am not sure that's how reading should be taken up. You know, even though it's 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 an uh, habit that you cultivate it's it's a disciplined work that you have to done in in that sense obviously it's very similar to say exercising or working out in a gym but you pushing yourself uh, to do it i i don't think uh, you know to the to the to the limited understanding or experience that i have with reading uh, that's not how it it might work i think you should always start with what interests you uh, you know, so so your choice of topics uh, is very important. Even if Chetan Bhagat interests you, start with reading, uh, you know, his book, uh, Ek Do Padho. And then, you know, once you get into a habit, uh, habit banane ke liye kam se kam aapko kuch light cheese leni hogi na. Then, then you start uh, graduating to other things. And then there are, you know, online you have... I mean, it's a dichotomy that because of internet, actually people's attention time has shortened. But still, it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, such a beautiful technology. Uh, you can read so many things. I mean, uh, for example, we have discussed so many things over over here. Ek do koi cheez lagi hogi ya to striking yaad patta laga hoga. Go Google about it. Try you know maybe you end up on a long form kind of a thing. And because now you have a context with you have an interest in that particular thing, you start reading. And and that's that's how uh, you know that uh, uh, that habit can be cultivated. Uh, but if you are forcing yourself to read, uh, I think uh, you know like like we used to do when uh, uh, we, we we were preparing for say CAT or uh, you know uh, uh, those exams. When you have to read, you know it, it's because you have to get into uh, uh, you have to get the high percentiles. Uh, that's also one of the ways. But I don't think that works especially in reading. I mean, if, if you have an uh, entrance exam to crack, that's a different thing. But that doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So true. It's, uh, uh, again, it's like, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Uh, from my own personal experience, I can say that reading is a habit that you can get into. And unfortunately, mm-hmm. it's very easy also to fall out of the habit. True. Of, uh, Absolutely. Reading. Absolutely. Yeah. So, as yes, so. like uh, cycling, ek bas, cycle chalane, sikhli, to bhar, aap cycle nahi bhoolenge, bhoolenge. Right. Hota hai. In, to... Internet has ruined me. You know, I mean, uh, 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 my reading habits, internet has ruined me. But if somebody doesn't have that habit, then internet can help you actually. You know, you uh, those baby steps you can take through internet and you can start reading. But as Abhinav rightly said, it's it's so, it's in that sense, obviously, the, the comparison with exercising, it's so perfect. You know, the, you 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 drop your guards a little bit. You start eating samosa and all that. You get out of shape immediately. And same happens with reading as well. Yeah, <laughs> very true. So, uh, Rahul, we have many other questions. What I will do is I will uh, take them and I will send them to you. And if sure. you want, uh, you can uh, you know take any one uh, or one or more, whatever you prefer. You can ask. Uh, mm-hmm. You can perhaps take them up on uh, uh, Twitter or elsewhere. I'd like to thank everyone who attended. We had a huge number of people who joined. So thank you again all for uh, joining. Thank you, Rahul, for Thanks. coming on to this uh, Q&A. And uh, folks, as I said, we will be putting this up on our YouTube channel. And I will share the link in a, in a few days when that is available. Any last comments, Rahul? Uh, well, uh, I... I... I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> so you know because it, it was a question and answer. I was uh, uh, there, and, and you know there was no set agenda that that we discuss over here. So in that sense, I don't have a closing comments or anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I the way it ends in my book as well. And somebody had asked uh, the question also that we we should keep the conversation going. That's very important. Uh, and uh, you know it's 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 good that uh, uh, you know through indic academy also things are happening you know we are we are different kind of books different kind of uh, 
ideas we are imbibing uh, and and we keep on the conversation going even if, uh, most important is that you know i mean uh, after having fought with left you know so called uh, again not getting into the technicalities of what left and right is but uh, we know that uh, having fought with them so much uh, we have in a way become uh, our way of debating has become very aggressive uh, with even with ourselves so that's one thing i i think uh, you know we people on the so called right we need to uh, you know forget about how to make discussions on twitter and uh, elsewhere better but if we can in our own little spaces if we can uh, start this uh, you, you know culture of uh, communicating to each other uh, debating a uh, few things in a non twitter way that that would be very helpful for for uh, entire uh, movement very well said and on that note thank you rahul thank you everyone thank you